problem that I was tackling was the simple, basic, everyday procedure of an injection. Syringes are reused a horrific amount of time. In India, 62% of all injections given are unsafe. And this procedure of injecting multiple patients with one syringe spreads viruses like you've never believed. And if you don't believe me, have a look at this. These nurses were filmed secretly in a government hospital for 30 minutes. The tray they are using has medicine on it for all the patients on the floor, yet they only have two syringes. During this time, not once was a new syringe taken from a packet. The nurses openly throw the syringes back in the tray, then pick them up again to give the next injection, and not one patient or bystander ever challenges them. This results in 1.3 million deaths around the world and 23 million cases of hepatitis are transmitted. In fact, it's many more deaths, twice as many deaths as occur through malaria. The actual burden to the world on an annual basis is $119 billion, which is just extraordinary. Every year in Africa, 20 million injections are given which are already contaminated with the blood of the previous patient who had HIV. This is in Islamabad, and this lady who was burnt was treated 10 years ago in this very room, and during the treatment got hepatitis B, and didn't see the irony that we were actually in the same room um, that she got the infection in the first place. And you might think that this is a developing world problem. Can it ever happen in the West? Yeah. Last year, there were 66,000 transmissions of, a of hepatitis C in Nevada through the reuse of syringes. So what is the solution? In 1984, I read a newspaper article which set me on this journey. Um, it predicted that this would be a problem. So I designed this syringe, which can be used on the same equipment, made in the same, for the same cost and used in the same way. And this is how it works. You basically go through the same operation as before. You inject, and then if you try and reuse it, it locks and breaks. I started in 84, but in 2001, I sold my first syringe, 17 years later. And this is a photograph of that, uh, the end of that journey, where I sold the first syringe in Cambodia through the UNICEF program. Since then, we've gone on to sell 2 billion. We've been credited with saving around 10 million lives through the production of this product. Thank you. And as, you, as I've already said, they cost 5 cents. A bottle of Coke around the world costs on average 50 cents. So 10 of these syringes equals one soft drink, so everyone can afford them. In the future, what do we need? Well, I run a public information campaign through my not-for-profit, and we basically educate with these three simple graphics that a syringe must come from a packet, be used once, and then safely disposed of. When we use these, we found that in a hospital in Tanzania, for example, the average inpatient stay dropped from seven days to three. Imagine the saving of that multiplied across the world. The hospital administrator worked out that every 20 of these, every dollar, saves him $200 in downstream medical costs. And programs in Uganda where 90% of the syringes are safe now, and in India last year where we were able to mandate the use of this product across um, all of the states in India in public hospital system. And in Pakistan, where last week I got an approval from the Minister of Health to start next week on a 40 million rupee campaign across the whole of the country to change it over to safe injections. Imagine this little product here, a little bit of information might just be able to reduce that $119 billion burden and might be able to make serious ingress into that 1.3 million deaths. Thank you.